For my lap zipper, I'm first of all going to sew a seam right where my zipper is going to go. I'm going to sew my fabric right sides together with my raw edges facing each other. If your seam is going to be visible on the inside of the item that you are going to be making, it is best practice to pre-finish your seam allowance if you can, especially for this type of zipper. And so your seam allowance finishing, you may do serging, zigzag, binding, or other, depending on what your preference is and the item that you're making. If your item is going to be lined, no need to finish off that raw edge and prevent any fraying. Now for my seam, I am going to sew a basting stitch where my zipper will go. And then I'm going to transition to a regular stitch length of 2.5 and finish off that seam. And so with my zipper, I'm going to match up the top edge of my zipper tape with the top edge of my fabric. I've also given myself a chalk mark just below the zipper stopper at the end. And that is so that you know when to transition your stitches. Now on my machine, I have my seam allowance set for a two centimeter seam allowance. Now note that if the item that you're making, if it has been designed with a smaller seam allowance, you should be sewing it with that seam allowance that it has been designed for. If you start sewing things at different seam allowances, it will affect the overall look of that item. So with this seam, I'm going to start with a basting stitch. Because the seam where I'm basting is going to come out in the end, I'm not going to worry about back stitching at all at this point. So I'm starting off maintaining that two centimeter seam allowance and then at my chalk mark needle down I'm going to change my stitching length to 2.5 and then going to do a back stitch finish off the seam and finish with the back stitch at the end needle up trim your threads and then go to the iron and press everything open including your seam allowance don't skip the pressing step at my iron I've pressed open my seam allowance I then have pressed under one of my seam allowances so that I have roughly three millimeters between my seam and my finished edge. With this edge, what you're doing is you are offsetting your zipper so that it sits underneath your lap just a bit, so that it's not centered. It is sitting underneath this seam allowance slightly, hence the lap zipper. With this step, keep in mind that if you offset it a great amount, you are going to end up top stitching this side down on the other side of your zipper. If you leave too much fabric on your other seam allowance, you aren't going to have the room to top stitch down your other side. And ultimately what that will end up having is you will have a beautiful top stitch down fabric here, but you'll be able to see either your seam finishing or your raw edge of this piece. So we're going to not do too wide. And so I've done roughly three to four millimeters between my seam and my folded edge. And then that folded edge is going to go right beside the zipper teeth. And what you're going to be doing at this step is you are going to be top stitching right beside that folded edge, stitching this side of the zipper down. Because of the way that my zipper foot is oriented, I'm going to start from the end of my zipper and end at the top of my zipper tape. With this, you do want to double check that everything is lining up at the top exactly as it should. And so I don't need to start way down at the end of my fabric, just a stitch or so past that zipper stopper at the end and I'm stitching at a regular stitch length of 2.5. I'm going to start with the back stitch, continuing along, and as I sew, I'm just checking and keeping an eye that my folded edge of fabric aligns with my zipper teeth. As you get closer to the zipper pull, you might find that your fabric is pulling a little bit, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put my needle down, bring my foot up, and I'm going to move that pull out of the way Place my foot down again and continue sewing. End with a back stitch and then pull out your threads and trim everything off. You should have a nice finished edge right beside one side of your zipper teeth. What you're going to do now is move that pull back up. You can then open the fabric, folding it over so now you have your other side of seam allowance is matching with your other edge of your zipper tape. And what you're going to do now is you are going to top stitch along the other side of your zipper tape teeth, across at the bottom and finish at the bottom. You aren't going to top stitch up the other side because you have already stitched down the other side to your zipper teeth. So I placed my fabric underneath my foot. My fabric is sitting with my zipper teeth and my zipper tape right along the seam. And where my foot is lined up is just on the outside of my zipper teeth. And so I can feel through that fabric, feeling through exactly where the zipper teeth are. Because I have my zipper pull up at the top, I'm going to start just below it so that my stitches don't do an awkward wide and then come into the zipper teeth. 
and I'm stitching at a regular stitch length. I'm going to do one or two back stitches right at the start to get me started and hold my stitches in place. And as I sew, I'm just giving the fabric a little bit of tension, pulling it away from that seam. I'm also using my fingers to feel through exactly where the zipper teeth are. I'm also using my foot to help guide me. Another piece that I'm looking at as I'm stitching is I'm also watching the distance between my seam and where my needle is going in. My goal is to keep that line of stitching that I'm just sewing right now parallel to my seam. Now, as I get near the bottom, the other thing that I'm watching for and I'm feeling for through the fabric is where my zipper stopper is. So there's our zipper stopper underneath there. We don't want to sew over it. We don't want to try to sew right before it. We want to sew just after it. So what I'm feeling through the fabric is I'm feeling through exactly where that zipper stopper ends. And so it is right there. And so I'm just going to keep a finger on it while I finish off that row of stitching, watching my width, feeling through that end while also being careful of my fingers. And so that should get me right below my zipper stopper. So I'm going to go needle up, foot up, pivot my fabric. And then at the bottom here, I'm just going to hand wheel over to the seam. I don't want to overshoot it. I just want to go right to that seam. And then I'll do a few back stitches forward to lock those stitches in place, needle up, and then you can pull everything out. At this point, you've got a great line of stitching. You can see that nice corner at the end. And then we just need to finish off the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my basting, move my zipper pull down, and then finish off that stitching at the top. Now that I've pulled out all of my basting, I can see my stitches on the underside, and I can see my lap coming into place. I've lined up the top of my zipper underneath my lap, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish off that stitching line. So I'm stitching at a regular stitch length of 2.5. I'm going to start with a back stitch, get that end out of there, and I'm aiming to meet this line of stitching. I'll do one or two back stitches just to lock my stitches in place. Typically you'd be stitching with a color thread that matches your fabric, and in which case then you barely see that stitching at all. So now that you have that stitching in place, needle up, trim your threads. Check to make sure that your zipper is functioning exactly how you would like it to. Now is the time to fix it if it isn't quite functioning quite properly. Mine's all good, so then I would move on to the next step of the item that I'm making. Something to keep in mind with a lap zipper is that you do have the lap over top, which opens up. If you are putting a lap zipper into a garment, be mindful of the direction in which your lap is opening. For example, if you put this into a side seam of a garment, typically zippers go in the left-hand side seam if you're going to do a side seam, but ultimately you want that lap to open up towards the back of the garment. If you had that lap opening up towards the front of the garment, just imagine how that might look. If you are putting a lap zipper into a non-garment item, just consider the direction in which that lap opens up and what direction you would like it to open up. If you aren't quite sure, a good rule of thumb is to have a look around at items that you might already own and have a look at the direction that those laps are opening, exploring the direction as well as how it was also sewn into that item.